this. It's called a suit. You wear one every day, along with a necktie, black, not white socks, dress shoes, not shower sandals. Please. Of course, These underwear. Are awful. Oh, come on. No, 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 no more commando. Mitch, you're a grown ass man. Put them on. This is called a schedule. It tells you everything you need to do each day pickups, drop offs, activities, play dates, doctor's appointments, etc. You'll notice that there are approximately 50 hours worth of obligations on any given day. Make it work. This is called a grocery store. People buy food here. It's part of your responsibilities. Before heading to the market, always call Jamie and ask her if she needs anything first. In fact, before making any decision in your life, no matter how small, call your wife first. Think of yourself as a brain-damaged mule, lost in the desert, helpless, dumb, and in constant need of direction. Never take the initiative, never strike out on your own, and never deviate from the plan. Why? Because you're a brain-damaged mule, and you are lost in the damn desert. These are called children, or dependents. Never disparage your own child. Everything they do is a miracle from God. When they're bad, it's only because they're tired or going through a phase. When other kids are bad, it's because of indulgent parenting or innate defects in the child's character. Be 15 minutes early for everything. It doesn't matter what it is. A meeting, an event, less stress for me, less stress for you, less stress for... Hey, you're married now, jackass. You can't look at other women. You can't talk to other women. You can't even be interesting around other women. Do everything in your power to desexualize yourself. Wear a fanny pack. Drive a Prius. Attach electronic devices to your belt, whatever it takes. And if you find yourself forced to talk to a woman, quickly find some way to mention the fact that you're married. It doesn't even have to make sense. Hi, how are you? Nice weather today. He's totally fucking married. So I, I can't sleep with my wife. I can't sleep with other women. What the hell's that? Marriage. Hey. I think that's everything. Yeah. You got any more questions? Do you ever have any free time? Have you listened to a single word I've said? There is no free time. And at the end of the day, do you know what you get? A fucking gun with a bullet to blow my head off with? Sometimes you wish. Hi. Did you hear the good news? King Cobb and Amalgamated agreed to go into binding mediation in two days. Wait, 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 hold on. What do you mean? Wow. Two days? So, uh, I'll have my briefs on your desk by lunch. That puts my balls on your chin by dinner. That! Right there is schedule for sexual harassment. Awesome. I'm sorry, have we met? No, we haven't. I'm uh, Mitch Planko. Hi, Sabrina McKay. Hey, Sabrina. Hold on. You two guys should go out. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Please stop. You two guys need to go out. Absolutely, you two should go out. You're so single, Mitch, right? And this one here is just so you're fucking white hot, right? This body. Did you do a lot of swimming in college? Don't answer that. You bet she did. Oh, my God, you guys need to go out. You need to have a nice steak dinner, do some dancing, go to, like, a Korean nightclub, right? I don't know, get a belly full of pills. I don't know what you're into, but just have some fun, right? What about Echo on 7th Street? Saturday at 8.30. Great? Great. He's totally free, so he's gonna meet you there. Don't fuck on the roof, though. That place got, like, this non-resin tar that's a bastard to wash off. So, just oral. Yes, you're thinking about it. She's in. This is good.